بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الطلبة الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأهلا ومرحبا بكم في هذا الجزء التاسع من المحور الثاني لمادة نظرية الآلات Theory of Machines We will continue with degree of freedom of planar mechanisms First of all, it is the number of inputs needed to fully define position of mechanism It is called mobility Now, with goods, Bach's or modified Grubler's equation, it is the following. M equal 3L minus 1 minus 2J1 minus J2. This is called goods, Bach's criteria. With M is the degree of freedom, L is the number of links, J1 is the number of 1 degree of freedom joints, and J2 is the number of 2 degree of freedom joints. If degree of freedom is positive, it is called a mechanism. If it is equal to zero, it is called a structure. If degree of freedom is negative, it's a preloaded structure will have built-in stresses with manufacturing errors. The first example is a mechanism, degree of freedom equal one. So this system can be driven one with one rotation, for example, from here. Second example is a structure, degree of freedom equals zero, no mobility here. Third example, it is a preloaded structure, degree of freedom is negative, minus one. More definitions for degree of freedom. For a body in free space, It is the number of independent parameters needed to completely define a system's position in space. For a mechanism, it is called also mobility. It is the number of inputs needed to fully define a position of mechanism. Are they the same? No, definitely. So what is input? Let's see here. Input is a source of motion. So the device that introduces or produces motion for a mechanism. Two types there are for uh, input. Rotary input, usually provided by a motor, or linear input, usually provided by a linear actuator, as shown here in the figure. So it is a simply, uh, simply a piston in a cylinder moved by pneumatic or hydraulic pressure. Here we have the piston, this is the piston, here the cylinder, okay, so here it can be a pneumatic or hydraulic pressure cylinder to provide linear motion. Implication of mobility M, if M equals zero, so the motion is impossible, no motion and the mechanism forms a structure. If it is equal one, mechanism can be driven by a single input motion. Uh, it is called a constrained mechanism. So uh, here, uh, it can be driven by uh, rotary input or translation input. If M equal two, so the mechanism requires two separate input motions to produce constrained, that means defined or controlled motion, and etc. If the mobility M is negative, so mechanism has redundant constraints, it is over constrained and it is called a statically indeterminate structure. So the forces in every link cannot be determined.